Hi, I'm Mark Serzana from HowToTunePianos.com. If you are a piano tuner who is looking for a way to improve your oral piano tuning results and your stability in particular, listen to this clip from one of my classes where I talk about the Go Ape oral piano tuning system and specifically the non-speaking length tension analysis for superior stability. To learn more about this incredibly accurate and precise method of achieving superior stability, I will be giving a free Zoom meeting this Monday at 12 noon Eastern. Be sure to click the link in this post somewhere to register for this free Zoom meeting where we will talk about how to get superior stability in piano tuning. Um, but I was just saying that the problem with the double string unison is that you have to break the unison, nice clean unison, and then retune it after. You, you're walking towards the pitch, right? Break it, tune it, break it, tune it. Uh, but uh, that's the power of this method, is that you're constantly practicing tuning your unisons. You get very fast at it, very fast at it. And now in order to get very fast at it, you need to understand how stability works. So if people are telling you, put your hammer at 12 o'clock, go sharp, and ease it flat. Right? Go sharp, ease flat. Is that a yep. common technique you're aware of? Yes, it is, absolutely. You know what got me thinking about this? Going sharp, easing flat, and having that. What, what's going on? You, you see what I'm saying? People told me, put my hammer at 12 o'clock, go sharp, ease it flat for the best ability. I want to punch those people in the face because they lied to me. Right? This is a lie. How many people are out there telling other piano technicians that this is how you tune it, get a stable tuning? Everyone. Exactly. There. Stable. Yep. So what did I do? Well, I had to figure out what people were telling me that was a lie. And they were telling it to me not to be mean. They just didn't know. And when you come to them and you say, blah, 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 either they get angry, throw the, close the door in your face, or they say, meh, you got to tune a thousand pianos. Yeah. It's like, no, I don't have to tune a thousand pianos. I have to know what's going on. Why is it not staying stable? But they right. don't know. Many people are just like, not interested. Many, many people get angry with me. And how can you say that? You're destroying pianos. You are, uh, you should be stripped of your RPT status. People have said that. Wow. Yeah, oh, yeah. That's incredible. Oh, 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 yeah. But then there's the few that understand. And they go, you know what? This guy's onto something. You know? And it's not, it's not for me or any kind of glory that I'm, I'm out here talking about this stuff. It's because... It's a, it's a beautiful art, it's a beautiful skill, and it's a shame that people are struggling, and it's a shame that the computers are coming in and taking over because people have poor instruction and don't know how to get a good result by ear, so they give up. We've got too many things that we've given up already to the computers, okay? We sure. don't have to give this up. If you learn this method, you don't have to give up tuning by ear. The vast majority of people like you who start with these uh, vague methods, like, like you, how frustrated are you, man? You're like, I'm sure you're thinking in the back of your mind, like, Tune Lab, Tune Lab, Veritune, Cyber Tuner. Yeah, well, yeah, right? and I, I do. I, I wonder, as I sit here taking these, and I, I hear the hundreds of people going through the same course, I wonder, did they actually learn how to do this, or did they get the rough idea, make it through the course, and then buy a tuner and, and go from electronic from there? Yeah. I just question the, it. The old-timers who stuck with it, uh, and, they, and they go, you got to do it by ear, you know, it's because they had no computers. They couldn't. There was nothing for them to use. So now people are going to the computers, and I'm saying, look, it, uh, give me a computer. I'll use it. I'll tune all my customers' pianos with it if it works. Yeah. But people, they start on oral. They realize the frustration. They realize uh, that what's being taught is doesn't work. They go to the machine, and then if they get a little bit better with the oral, they start realizing the machine is like falling down at certain spots, trying to get a good stretch, or you know, and it's like, sure. I've got to go back and learn how to do this by ear. But what's there for them to learn? You know, yeah. what, what kind of method is there for them to learn? For the Click the link in this post to register for the free meeting this Monday at 12 p.m. Eastern, where I talk about how to get superior stability using non-speaking length tension analysis, part of the Go Ape oral piano tuning system.